So we're doing a case study uh, of a patient who required harm reduction. So when I saw this person preoperatively, I identified that her bridge was modestly uh, high. It certainly is not a large hump. So she needed a very conservative hump reduction. I also noticed that her tip position in terms of projection and rotation were ideal. So I thought in her case, a, s a straightforward hump reduction with no other particular maneuvers other than maintaining her tip position was required. So I recommended a hump reduction and what we did was we, take, we took down uh, the cartilage portion of her hump and the bone par portion of her hump. And that's taken out, of course, from underneath the skin. That red section is the area that's removed. And so once that's removed, we allow, that allows the skin to settle down. So this is her post-operative uh, result. Her, her bridge height is now just slightly lower than the tip, which is ideal for women. Uh, her tip position in terms of how it's rotated away from the lip is, is the same as it was before. And so is the projection of her tip. So this is probably a situation where just the hump reduction was, was required.